Hello people, I am the Oconic for Gamer. Today I'm going to be discussing Superman in Batman v Superman. So spoilers for the movie, if you have not seen it, you've been warned anyways. So Superman, I loved Man of Steel. It's my favorite superhero movie. Superman is my favorite superhero. And I was expecting to see more of that Man of Steel Superman in this, except a bit more fleshed out because he wasn't quite Superman. He acted a lot like Superman, but he, you know, he wasn't a pro yet. He was a beginner. He was getting there. It was the closest we had to like comic book Superman on screen. I loved it. I loved seeing that Superman. And I wanted more of that Superman on the big screen, but then Batman Superman rolls around, and we didn't get any of that Superman at all, none of that character that I knew. Uh, the only part that this Superman is really confident about anything at all is in the very beginning in the bathtub scene with Lois, when she's talking to him about how everything's going bad and stuff, and they're blaming him, and he's like, no, I don't care, I didn't do any of that, I don't care what they're saying, and then immediately folds over and is like, oh no, everyone hates me, and just starts complaining about everything, it just feels bad and has to get a bunch of pep talks, and at the very end, when he's certain that he's the one who has to kill Doomsday, those are like the only two parts that this Superman is confident at all in this movie. The rest of this p movie, Superman is second-guessing himself about everything, and I hated that because in the first movie, we got a Superman that was confident, that knew what he was doing was the right thing. That being said, he wasn't afraid of taking advice or anything like that, but he was still, he knew what he was doing was the right thing. He told the government they would never control him. But in this, he, like, he just rolls over for everyone. He's like, well, I don't know. And he has, I hated that. I hated the fact that he's second-guessing himself all the time. And he got pep talks from Lois, his dead dad, which that scene made absolutely no sense. Because Batman was constantly tripping balls. But then Superman is dreaming of his dead dad. Is like, okay, this is a little weird. And then he got a pep talk from his mom as well. It's like, where's that Superman that is confident in knowing that what he is doing is right? Where is that guy? Because he's nowhere to be seen in this movie. And that's just one of the com many complaints I have with Superman in this movie. Another one is the fact that this Superman is an idiot about everything. He's just, there's no common sense among a lot of the characters in this movie, but Superman especially. Uh, for instance, when he goes to fight Batman, which that fight shouldn't have even happened, because when uh, Lex take, when Lex tells him, hey, if you fly anywhere but Gotham, your mom's dead, because I captured her, Superman flies directly to Lois and is like, hey Lois, I gotta go fight Batman, I gotta try and convince him to help me, or I gotta kill him. He flies the Lois instead of Gotham. Boom, Martha's dead. But nope, because obviously Lex is not keeping tabs on Superman at all. And then Superman flies to fight Batman. And then he, when he flies back, Lex is like, oh, Lex is expecting him to have Batman's head. Well, you see that Lex was obviously not taking, keeping tabs on the fight, so he could have literally just flown like he was going towards Gotham, then gone supersonic, and gone straight to where Martha was, because he can obviously easily locate her by uh, using his super hearing and his telescopic vision and his x-ray vision, using all of those, and could have found her easily and saved her, especially because those guys were on orders to not kill her until the uh, timer went off, because Batman is beating the living crap out of those dudes right outside that room where Martha's being held, and no one ever pulls the trigger, lights are on fire or anything. They're all just sitting there waiting for the timer to go up. They don't do a thing while they know that Batman is out there trying to save her. And it's like, what? So Superman could have easily gone there and stopped him in like a second and saved his mother and then gone and stopped Lex. But anyways, the fight happens uh, for the stupidest of reasons. But anyways, they go, they fight. In the very beginning, Superman opens up by saying something. He's just like, hey, it's not what you think. You know, I'm not here to fight you and stuff like that. When he should have just been like, hey, they got my mom. But instead, he doesn't open like that. And they start fighting, and there's that part where Superman grabs Batman, goes through a building, and then throws Batman onto the bat signal. That part where he's up there, right before he throws him, he should have just held him there. He should have flown up really high in the air, held Batman, and been like, hey, you know, if you don't want to listen, you want to hit me, go ahead. You're just going to fall to your death. But if you want to listen, they've got my mom. Or he could have just skipped all that stuff and just been like, hey, they've got my mom. I need your help. And then it probably would have been something like the college humor Batman where Superman's like, hey, we need to team up. And Batman's like, why? You've got all the powers. I can't do anything. Probably, probably something along those lines would have happened. Batman would have just looked at Superman and been like, what? Why do you need my help? You can do all this by yourself in a second. But anyways, he could, he could have just held him up in the air and been like, hey, dude, we need to team up to go and help my mom, help save my mom. But no, he doesn't. He decides to just fight him. And then... The fight, Superman is such an idiot during that fight. You realize Batman's whole plan hinged on Superman hitting him directly through those buildings. If Superman hits him through a building to the left, Batman's plan is 
done. It go, it goes down Crap Mountain and it is over because it all hinges on Superman hitting him through those buildings to that spear. If Superman hits him through a building to it, it's it's done. The, through a building to the left, it's done. But luckily, this Superman's an idiot. We have that part to where they're in the bathroom and S Batman is doing the slowest reload of all time, and Superman is just staring at him instead of heat visioning the gun or anything like that, or flying away or taking something and throwing it. Batman he decides to jump and scream. He screams and then jumps at him. He's like ah, and jumps at him and gets hit. And it's like oh, surprise, surprise, because this Superman is a complete. Idiot. And prior to that, he takes Batman and throws him through all those bathroom stalls. You realize when he's holding Batman right there, he could have taken the grenade launcher and just broken it right then. But no, that's what a smart person would have done. Or someone who just has common sense. I don't consider myself a smart person, but if I had certain Superman's powers, I could have won that fight. Because he's just using common sense here. This Superman is an idiot. He doesn't use common sense whatsoever through this fight, and then he gets beaten by Batman, and I'm fine with Batman winning this fight as much as I want Superman to win this fight. I'm fine with Batman w winning this fight if they would have done it correctly, because this is a Superman that's new, and he doesn't know that there's kryptonite. He doesn't know that there's something out there that can hurt him. So if Batman whips it out immediately, then that's fine. Like, if he would have done something smart to take down uh, Superman, but he doesn't. He has a stupid plan that hinges on Superman being an idiot. It wasn't Batman coming up with this smart plan, like, this is the guy that plans for every little thing five years in advance. No, this isn't that Batman. This is that Batman just that just throws together a plan that seems like a two-year-old threw together, and it all hinges on Superman being an idiot. Luckily, Superman is an idiot. And then Superman gets beaten into submission, and he, like, if you're gonna have Superman lose, have him lose it with dignity. But nope, you know, it ends with Superman with Batman's leg, well, I mean, Batman's stomping on his throat, and uh, Lois coming in and saving him. You know, that's not humiliating at all. For Superman, the first ever superhero. You know, just having Batman stay up there. And, and I love how Batman takes the spear and just cuts Superman first. Just to add the, to the humiliation. Not enough that Superman's already under Batman's heel. But he has to take the kryptonite spear and cut him first. It's like, oh, that's great. That's just a big F you to Superman fans. Like, yeah, Batman's so much cooler. But that's all I wanted to say about the fight. Now, Superman as a character is completely unrelatable in this movie. Unlike the first movie where a lot of it was just trying to humanize Superman, uh, in this, they make Superman a god with god problems. Oh no, I saved too many people and people don't like it that I save people. And Oh, it's so bad. It's like, who can relate to that? Absolutely no one. He's a god with god problems and it makes him seem like he's not someone to look up to either. He's not inspiring. No one wants to be like this Superman. And no one can relate to this Superman. And he's got no friends. The only person he even remotely likes is Lois. Lois is the only person. She's like they said. She's like the only person keeping, keeping him to this world. This is where Jimmy Olsen would have been perfect in this movie. He would have been that guy that would have been Superman's pal. We would have got to see him and Clark eating lunch on top of the Daily Planet building or something. Seeing stuff that's relatable to people. And we could have Jimmy Olsen talking to Superman and being like, No, dude, what you're doing is right. You're great. You're an awesome hero. But no, they kill him off. Within like the first two seconds after the flashbacks, and he was a CIA agent, we don't get that Jimmy Olsen. Because this Superman can't have friends. He's an idiot god. He can't have friends. Normal people have friends. This guy ain't a normal person. And so, instead he has Lois. And there's no relatable part to him about it. That, that was one of my few gripes with Man of Steel was the fact that uh, Lois immediately finds out his identity and they get together immediately. Because it doesn't seem like Clark really worked for it or anything or, like, she legitimately got with him or anything. It was just like, oh, he flashed the big ass, and what girl wouldn't want to be with Superman? So it didn't seem real genuine how they got together. And uh, that was a big part of, like, John Byrne's run on Superman, was the fact that Superman had girl problems. Yes, the most powerful superhero in the world has lady troubles, and, like, that is something that a lot of people can relate to. But nope, take that away. And in this, he just, he mopes about everything. And I hate that. I love seeing that Superman in Man of Steel that first flies and is so happy. He's like, holy crap, I'm flying. Just like any of us would be. Any any person, even the people that absolutely hate Superman, whatever, if they could fly, they would have that exact same look on their face that Henry Cavill did, that Clark did when he was flying in Man of Steel. I wanted to see more of that Superman. Instead, we get Superman moping. I don't care about the fact that this movie's dark. I like it. I like switching things up from Marvel. I hate the fact that Marvel 
ends their movies with dance offs and then everyone's holding hands. I, oh god, the Guardians of the Galaxy pisses me off a lot. But anyways, I hate the fact that Marvel jokes every two seconds, and I like having different things than that. Again, I loved Man of Steel, and that had hardly any jokes. This movie tonally was great. I thought it was pretty much perfect for what they were going for, but. Superman as a character was just ruined. I even did a video, does Superman work as dark? And I said, yes, he does. If you do it like Man of Steel, you make the world around him darker, but you keep Superman, Superman. Don't change character Superman. Keep Superman being that Man of Steel, but you can make the world around him darker. But instead of this, they make him moping. And I hate that scene where uh, in the Senate, when the bomb goes off and Superman's just like, aww. And save all these people. And then instead of going and explaining it to someone, he's like, no, I'm just going to mope around, you know. They make him seem so alien because when he's talking to Lois, he's like, this was a farmer's dream. This wasn't me. It was like, what? What is this? This Superman in Man of Steel was so confident what he was doing was right. And Lois even said, you know, the only way you're going to disappear is if you stop helping people. And I don't see that as an option for you. Because it wasn't. That Superman in Man of Steel wanted to help people on his own. Yes, his parents raising him right is what helped him decide, hey, I want to help people. But in this, it was like, no, that was all my father. That was all, you know, Jonathan Kent. That wasn't me. I didn't care about saving people. Because I'm an alien that's unrelatable. I'm just some stupid god. I don't care about saving these pathetic people. I hated those scenes where he's saving people, too. How badly they were done. Like, that that one part where he's just hovering above those people in the flood. It's like, what? That's not Superman. That's just an absolute jerk. What is this? I don't care for this style. And then the, how he just saves that little girl from the fire in, like, the slowest way possible... Like, those would have been great scenes to showcase how Superman truly is. But nope, we get a Superman who's saving people all moping and everything. Uh, and yeah, that Senate scene just, I didn't like it. It made sense for Superman to be sad with the fact that he wasn't able to save all those people. But then to just be like, nah, I'm giving up because of that. This is such a weak-willed Superman. We even see in those sort of flash-forwards or whatever of Injustice Superman. So he loses Lois and he loses everything, which this Superman would do because he's so weak-willed. Even though we've seen, like, in Superman Ending Battle, at the end of that, Manchester Black makes Superman think that Lois is dead, that he killed Lois. And Superman wants to kill him. He even thinks about killing him. Like, goes vivid in his, in his imagination of just heat-visioning his face off. But he decides, no, I'm not going to kill you. You're going to go to prison. But then it turns out Lois is actually alive. But anyways, Lois died, and he decided, no, because that's not a weak-willed Superman. Superman is not weak-willed. But in this, this Superman's a weak-willed moron that just mopes around. That's what this Superman is, and I hated this character. This movie made me hate Superman, and I hate that because Superman is my favorite superhero of all time. He's my favorite fictional character of all time. I love Superman, and he's just, he's one of those great characters that's relatable, yet you can look up to, and you want to be like, but then there are aspects of him that you can relate with, and he's just so great because very few characters can pull that off, but in this, this Superman, I didn't see any of that at all whatsoever. I just saw a god with god problems who moped around and was a complete idiot. I That's why when he died, I didn't really feel sad. I was like, well, he's dead. That and the fact that everyone saw it coming. Like, it was, they didn't hide it well. I was like, yeah, Superman's going to die. And then he died. I was like, oh, wow, what a surprise he died. But, yeah, I don't blame Henry Cavill for any of this, by the way. I don't want anyone to get that idea. I love Henry Cavill. I think he's a great actor. He does have range, unlike a lot of people think. It's just Zack Snyder doesn't do a good job of showcasing his acting talents. Uh, in Man of Steel, he pulled off many things, like at the flight sequence, when he first learns to fly, he's so happy. He's like, yeah, I can fly. And then at the very end, when he kills Zod, he's so mad and sad about the fact that he had to kill Zod. Zod made him do it, because otherwise that family was going to die. And he was so sad and mad about that and angry. And uh, we also saw some very emotional parts, like with his dad. When his dad dies uh, on the bridge, that was very, very sad with the tornado. He was really sad about that. And then we saw some seriousness. And then if you look at his other movies, like Man from Uncle, he can pull off that smooth guy thing. He's got range. Henry Cavill is a great actor, so I don't blame him at all. I blame the writing and Zack Snyder for how badly Superman was portrayed in this movie. And I really wasn't expecting this uh, until I saw those reviews because Man of Steel was so great. And I was like, oh, this is, this is really disappointing. But yeah, I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of Superman in this movie? Please let me know in the comments below. 
all of your guys' thoughts on Superman as a character in this movie. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.